for this middleweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting St. Petersburg, Russia, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, it's always been a huge market for the MMA leader, and we are always glad to come back. They have rolled out the welcome mat tonight as we get underway from the O2 Arena here in London, England. That was a nice jab. Really missed with that right hand. Lunges forward with a left there. Nice combination there. Look how light he is on his feet, too. Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh, misses with the jab. That shot blocked by Whitaker. Straight right hand now just misses. How about that shin? Back to the body shots now, that one plus. Beautiful left hook. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Oh. Yeah, it looks a little wide. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's definitely blocked. Oh! Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Finds his range with the jet. Very good defense on display here. Very good blocks. Under two minutes now to go in the round. That punch will work right through the guard. Back and forth we go here. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. He's trying to hit. Block that offense, Joe. Oh! Straight right hand. That's no a game. hard one. And now he lands a combination. Big right hand. So, 130 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Oh!
beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ended. Wow, Joe Rogan, you know, we see fighters all the time go for a takedown late in the round, but you don't see that every day. The flush knockout just before the final horn, the referee wisely jumping in to stop the fight. Gorgeous technique and a great job to catch the other guy when maybe he was thinking about the end of the round. Now he doesn't see it. Instead, he's staring up at the bright lights. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Ba boom So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hatsuka. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.